Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Klaus, this is my house, and I was going through my comments today and Smells Bad had made a comment, said use your technique in Hanging Man's Alley, work brilliantly, shame it can't work with water. Now he is referencing the power density video that I had done where you basically squeeze a whole bunch of these generators together and you get the most power in the smallest space. But does it work with water? I think it does. Let's go through it right now. I'll show you guys how to do it and you can use it wherever you want. All right, so this is pretty much gonna be to show you guys that you can actually build water where you normally shouldn't be able to. So I'm over here, this is a, uh, you know, Edgewater Tours Marina uh, and essentially uh, more or less, with the exception of like right here, uh, this, this area, this general vicinity, we cannot put down any water yeah, at all. I'm, I'm not seeing any blue, like I said, except for over in this corner here, where there's probably a little bit of dirt it's getting to. So the first thing that we're going to end up doing is we're going to go to our miscellaneous items in the resources bin, FYI, and we're going to place down a garden plot. Lo and behold, we can now place water here. You're basically tricking the game into thinking that there is dirt where there isn't. Uh, and my guess is you could probably um, get these to be a little bit nicer than... And what I'm doing, if you really, really go in there and you, you take your time, uh, you could definitely trick it into thinking that there's some viable placement options. So pretty much this is where we're going to follow somewhat uh, the bunk bed tutorial or the, um, uh, the power tutorial, um, which I'll, I'll, I'll put a link right, right there, right there for both of those guys uh, if you want to check those out. The next thing you want to do is you want to use this concrete floor, kind of like in the bunk bed video. And you're just going to raise it up so that it's just above where your guys' water pumps are going to be. Uh, next thing you want to do is you get a regular floor and you'll place that there. Uh, if you have mods installed, you can go ahead and do some uh, more interesting stuff. They have these shack supports. Uh, and my guess is that you can um, do something funny where it looks like it's actually supporting that. Mm, you can also use ladders if that's your type of deal. You can put it up against a wall uh, to try and make it look like it's in the wall. But essentially that's what it is. So what we want to do now is go back into our resources with our miscellaneous items. We're going to get that garden plot back out again and just kind of line it up to whatever you think it was below so it doesn't look too off. And we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So now you can see they're both on top of each other. Uh, yeah. I won't worry about lining it up. It's only a tutorial. And then, boom, look, we can place these guys up in thin air like it's nobody's business. Uh, so you just kind of go for it, really. See where you can place them. And sometimes you got to spin. Like I said, these can get these can get a little finicky. And you got to kind of find the right area. But once you find it, once you find it, you're good. And there you have it, people. You can stack your water high, just like you can do with your power generators. All right, so I think there's a couple little bits that we could have improved. Um, if you take this out, these guys will fall, so that's not an improvement. But I think if you put a floor on the bottom here, that could make it look maybe a little bit better. Um, the other thing to think about is this really does kind of help, actually, with water density. We have 24 water in this spot. This guy here, one, doesn't only require work. Uh, dirt, but it requires water and it requires power. Uh, and it takes up, oh god, I don't know, maybe we can just go with a low estimate and say two tiles. Um, if we were to take this and duplicate it over, we would have 48 water, no power. Uh, so I think this is also another good option. If you have the space for that big one, but you don't have any water, you can just do this four times over and get the same water. Like I said, um, I didn't really focus too much on getting those guys packed in there. So that's an option as well. You might be able to get even better uh, amounts of water out of this than what I did here, because this is just a quick tutorial for you guys. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please let me know down in the, uh, the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day, great night, whatever it is to you, and I will see you back here next time for some more Fallout 4 tutorials.